I wanted to make sure that I could see y'all comments as y'all get on. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And y'all, we got a topic to talk about, okay? So this past weekend, I did my in-person writing class. Prior to COVID, I would host in-person writing classes. Um, and it would be sometimes 25 to 30 women back here with the in-person writing class. Um, COVID came, I transitioned to a virtual writing class, which is on the website. So if you're not local, you can always go online and download the class virtually. Cool, right? So my in-person writing class was uh, Sunday at 6 p.m. And it was a success. I recorded it and then I started putting snippets of it up on Instagram, on um, Facebook, and I hadn't really put too much on YouTube, but the name of the class is called Riding Girl. Um, a few weeks ago, I was a part of a documentary and they basically featured my Riding Girl class in the documentary. So what I'm trying to say is I've been like really, 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 really busy. So that's why you have not been seeing me doing a lot of YouTube videos because I have been extremely busy. But the question came up because there was a YouTuber who reached out to me and before I agree to work with people, I'm a firm believer in doing my research before I just automatically say, yes, I will work with you. Yes, I will come on your show. I have to make sure that your show is gonna be a good fit for me, right? And I have to make sure that it's gonna, it's gonna be worth my time. Or if I need to, if I can do it for free, or if I need to charge you for it, right? So for example, you know, I have a, a lot of followers across all of my platforms, great. If I'm going to do some type of cross-promoting, cross-networking with you, I would expect you to have the same, right? That way that it could be beneficial to both of us. Well, this particular YouTuber does not have a lot of subscribers at all, meaning they don't even have enough subscribers to be monetized on YouTube, right? Um, so what I told them was, I will come on your show, but there is a fee that will be attached to it. In other words, you have to book me to come on the show. They got very, very, very upset. And they was like, you ain't humble. And this is why you can't work with black women and modern black women and women, women, women and all of this kind of stuff. And I'm just like, well, goddamn, all of this behind me telling you what my booking fee is? Like, you a man, you reached out to me. And it could have been a woman too, but you a man, you reached out to me. I checked out your platform. You followed back up with me because I didn't get to you. I didn't get back to you fast enough because you sent this the other day. I didn't get back to you fast enough, so you reached back out to me. And at that point, I was like, okay, I looked at your, your platform, and in order for me to work with you, this is what will be required for me to work with you. Um, this, I mean, he he went in, he he went into like a bitch made mode. Like he he got on some bitch ass shit. I'm just gonna call it like I see it. And was basically like, oh, you're not humble, you're not this. And then the thing was, he put out that I was going to be on the show and he put it on his YouTube, but he did it in a, a like a little funny type of way and said, are women out of control? So at that point, I already knew that when I came on your show that you were going to be in opposition of what I got going on. See, I'm all about women a people period walking in freedom being free like literally taking yourself out of bondage and living your life on your own terms that is if you know me and ppg and anything that i have been a part of that is the that is what i have been pushing from day one meaning live your life on your own terms be open be free have fun not everybody knows what to do when it comes down to the bedroom it's fortunate that I have a class that can teach you what to do when it comes down to the bedroom. Because I don't know if you want to go sit down and talk to your mama about how to ride dick. I don't know if you want your auntie to show you how to do it in reverse. I don't know if you want to talk to your grandmother about the difference between a long shaft and a short shaft. I don't know if you want to have them conversations, but sometimes in an environment like this, you can have those conversations and I can guide you and tell you textbook wise, anatomy wise, this is how to get it done. If this is what you're dealing with, if you're dealing with somebody that 
that is a larger body frame, then this is how you need to ride them. If you're dealing with somebody with a short shaft, this is how you ride them. If you're dealing with somebody with a curve, this is how you ride them. Um, but I'm saying all that to say, I just think that we have to get out of this space where we're trying to put women in their place. We beyond that. We're, we're, we are so beyond that, okay? And you have to give people space and freedom to be themselves. And it's no different than any other skill set. So what I'm saying all that to say, you may not have a skill set in cooking, but you may desire to cook. Well, you may go and take some culinary classes so that you can learn how to cook. It's no different. You may have a desire to do certain things in the bedroom where you go take a class for it, being that it's available to you, and now you know how to do these things in the bedroom. So I just thought that was really, really interesting. Um, the last thing I'm going to touch on, which I have been getting, y'all been emailing me. Y'all been like, ain't T, you turning up. Ain't T, you living your best life. Yes, yes, yes. Ain't T is doing her shit. Yes, yes, yes. In other words, there is life after divorce. Like, I don't know why people feel like divorce means that your life is over. No, 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 no. Not everybody leave, not every person is going to leave their marriage to up. Meaning I left mine whole. I, I left mine being a whole person. I didn't leave mine with a, a mindset of somebody that broke me down and told me down and I got low self-esteem and I don't, I don't know what to do with myself no more and I ain't desired and I, I don't know about it, want me and I, no, I don't, I don't feel like none of that shit. I don't feel like none of that. None, nope, none of that. I left saying, I wish you well. You know, it ain't doing what it needs to do over here no more. It, like, it ain't working. I wish you well. All of the women that contacted me about dating my husband, my soon-to-be ex-husband, I said, y'all have fun with that. Y'all got my permission. And he know I told him, y'all have fun with that. Because ain't nothing else here. There's a rep on it. So I'm saying all that to say, there is life after divorce. And I don't want y'all walking around upset. Uh, if you need to go look at the video about being whole, go look at the video on my YouTube where I got the cake in my hand and I'm explaining to you that you bring your own happiness to a situation, that you're not dependent on nobody to make you happy in a situation. You make you happy in a situation and you bring your happy ass self to the situation and this person bring their happy ass self and guess what? Y'all bring, bring brightness to each other. That's the way it's supposed to go. Not you relying on somebody to bring happiness to you. No, you, you have your own, you, you bring your own happiness. So I'm saying all that to say, you know, it, it is what it is. I'm not in no bad place. Just expect to see me moving around a whole lot and doing a whole lot of events that I've been wanting to do. Red dress run. This is my bib, y'all. I was 1735. Um, Red dress run is an event that I wanted to do for so long. Red Dress Run is um, a charity event to where you register and 100% of the proceeds go to charity, okay? Um, food banks, shelters, after-school programs, all kind of stuff. But unlike the Red Cross and some of the other organizations, they have administrative fees. So they take a portion of it and put towards administrative fees and the rest of it goes to charity. Red Dress Run, the hashers, they give 100% of the proceeds to the charity. So that, what you say, keep doing wife school? We're gonna talk about wife school because the thing is, um, we're gonna talk about wife school. We're gonna talk about that. But let me let me finish with the Red Bridge restaurant. So we paid our $65. If y'all didn't know it, I am a part of a fitness group. Um, and Jason Givens is the admin for the group. And he was going to Red Dress Run and he invited a lot of the people from the group to go to Red Dress Run. I decided to get in on it because I'm like, shit, I've been wanting to go. I'm not about to pass this opportunity up to go and have a good time. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, then you know one thing, it was a damn good time. It was such a good time that so many of y'all inboxed me and was like, when is it happening again? Because I don't want to miss it. I will let you know when it's happening again. It is an annual event. I will send you all of the information to register. As soon as, it, as, soon as they put it out there, I will share it. Uh, so that you all can come and turn up because I love to see us and I love to see all of the representation They they had people from all over the country there. I mean 
of course, when we saw our people, you know, we, one thing about black folks, baby, we see our people, we see our people. And we, and we it's like this kinship that go on when we see our people. We ain't got to know each other, but shit, we know each other. That's the great thing about when we come together. And we coming together in the name of a good time. When you register, it includes your alcohol and it includes your food. Um, and it, it includes a damn good time. That's what it includes. Um, but I urge you to register because it's one thing to go and turn up, but it's another thing to turn up and party with a purpose. So I believe in partying with a purpose, okay? Uh, let me see what else we got. Yes, Shine, you are responsible for your own happiness. Yes, yes, yes. Sharonda, I, I left and I came in like a lady. Yeah, I mean, my thing is I ain't had nothing, but at the same time, you know, it ain't like I got to put it on every damn post that I'm going through a divorce. I mean, it is what it is. Um, and, and life goes on. And I'm having a great time. Like, these last two months have been awesome for me, especially professionally. You know, I can't, I can't say that it hasn't been. These last few months have been awesome for me. Professionally, I have... Um, accepted invites to a lot of events that I normally would have said, no, I'm not going to come because it's during the week or no, I'm not going to come because for A, B, C, and D. At this point, I'm accepting the invites because now I'm free and flexible to be able to go and learn. What else we got? Yes, it was a wonderful experience. I think everybody should go and turn up at least one time in New Orleans and not for Bayou Classic and not for... um. What, and Mardi Gras, because those are the two biggest ones that we go for. But again, this this event, this is one that you want to go. You don't want to miss it. it. We had a great time. We had an awesome time. And let me tell you something. We had all of those people out there. All of this alcohol, meaning you ain't got nobody saying, oh, you didn't have enough beer or you didn't have enough this. And there was not one single argument out there, let alone a fight. They didn't even have an argument out there. So if you're looking for like real fun adult event, Come to the red dress run. Men, get your red dress. If you confident about who you are and you know who you are as a man, I don't even see the problem in it. But again, everybody tell me, Sharonda, you just way more open-minded than most people. But I don't put labels on people either because I understand the difference between having a good time and I understand sexuality. Those are two different things the same way I understand pleasure is one thing and sexuality is another. But as black folk, we have a really, really bad habit of wanting to label people. And we have a really bad habit of wanting to group people, you know, because, oh, you was there. And it is a, um, a event that is friendly to all, for all people, all walks of life, because you were there. Now you are part of this, you know, oh, you in the pot with them. You know, no, we got to get out of it. First of all, we too educated to still be on that dumb shit. Like, we, we got to move beyond that, Okay. Uh, let me see. Any more questions? Any more questions? Any more questions? Okay. Yes, there is availability for the class on Sunday. If you can't make the class, go and download it. On Sunday, I will be hosting Mr. C's Bridal Shower as well. That will be earlier in that day, and that event is a free event as well. And Friday starts my 11 p.m. party. So 11 p.m. starts this Friday as well. Bring your ones um, and bring your open mind and leave your bullshit at your house. What else I got? All right. I think that is going to be it for me today. Again, you know, I just feel like, you know, well-behaved women don't make history. You know, we making history, ladies, because we push the envelope. Um, we, it's, it's so much information out there. And don't let people put you in a box because you desire to learn when it comes down to your body, anatomy, sexuality, pleasure, um, things like that. Don't, don't let people make you feel bad about wanting to learn. Um, because the information is out there. So if you're not learning, it's just because you don't want to because the information is out there. If you follow me on YouTube, like a lot of you all do, you know that this channel is all about education. It's all about body positivity. It's all about just basically, you know, walking in your own freedom and, and living your life on your own terms, right? That's what it's about. So again, when Red Dress Run comes in 2023, I will put the registration link out there. This is my bib. I brought, I brought it just to be able to do this video. I had an awesome time. If you didn't see my reel, go and go look at it and make sure you listen to the song too. The song is awesome on my reel. I love the song. Um, and that's it. Hold on. 
You'll never be a well behaved. I look, I've been doing this a long time. And, you know, I'm a classy woman, but I ain't never been well behaved. Now you take that shit how you want to take it. <laughs> y'all, enjoy the rest of y'all day. Come see me here at the PPG store. We are opening to 9 p.m. Y'all be blessed.